Hello everybody, this is Gotta Transform Them All. Before I get into what I am opening, you might notice a lack of a background guy next to Sharktacon and Bulbasaur, who I have in just about every video where I'm doing an opening outside of booster boxes. Uh, that is because I have something a little different to share with you. For the background thing, uh, I don't know if you've been, I, I know Target at least has these, because this is where I found this. Uh, but they have this Mega Constructs thing now, which I have Pokemon licensed Lego-like stuff. And they had a Gyarados giant box, a Charizard box, uh, boxes for basically the first and second stages of the Kanto starters. So you had Squirrel and uh, Squirtle Charmander box, a War Turtle box. I believe there's different boxes for Charmeleon and Ivysaur as well. Uh, plus they had uh, six little capsule things uh, that came with some interesting Pokemon choices for like little Bulbas, like Basically, like, things his size. Uh, they were Machop, Abra, Eevee, Zubat, Pikachu, and Magikarp. And just look at this majestic thing. It has articulated fins, which is even more awesome. You have this. You have a tail that can move kind of side to side a bit. And you got an awesome little Lego-ish Pokeball that I can stand on. I, I I needed to get this when I saw it. It's it's just, oh, it's a little derpy, but it's awesome. Anyway, on to the video. Today we're opening up a Rayquaza EX10, uh, a newish one. This one in particular comes with a Rayquaza EX uh, that is from the actual Roaring Skies set. And if I believed my checklist enough on my phone when I was at Walmart, which these are exclusive to, by the way, there is a uh, Mewtwo, Rayquaza, and Darkrai tin that are exclusive to Walmart. Uh, I picked up the Darkrai one and opened that up before. Mewtwo, I think I'm going to pass because I have the Mewtwo EX that that tin has. Uh, but when I looked up Rayquaza, to my surprise, I believe I'm missing that card. So just like with Darkrai, this tin alone gets me a card I need, which is nice. Uh, and even though, as, as you can see, this is a smaller tin. Like if I can just grab another one over here quickly. This is a tin, or this is the Walmart tin. This is the normal size tin. They fit the same amount of stuff in about two thirds the size, which is pretty amazing. Uh, but honestly, if, if Pokemon was smart, they'd just do more in this size because I feel like it might be cost effective, uh, shipping effective because you can ship more together, and shelf space effective because you can fit more on the shelf when they're a little smaller. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, so we got the same four packs, EX card, and a code, which is the same stuff you'd find in the normal tins. But yeah, let's get this open. I believe this... I'm trying to remember what the Dark Rye tin had. I think Sun and Moon were two of the packs. And then I forget what the other two were. But let's just see. Uh, yeah, we have Sun and Moon on the top at least. Uh, but here is the... Oh, we got a code card, which... Honestly, seeing as it's a set card, I'm not sure I need this code. So let's use this to focus. There is a Rayquaza Battle Origins tin code for you guys. Pause and take it if you want it. I honestly assume you just get this card here, uh, which is Rayquaza EX from Roaring Skies, 75 of 108. And according to my set list for Roaring Skies, I am missing number 75 Rayquaza EX. So hopefully that's correct and I just filled a hole in my collection just by buying this tin. That would be nice. I don't know where to put this. There we go. I'll go off to the side. Uh, but let's see what the packs are. We have two, yeah, two Sun and Moon evolutions and Fates Collide. All right, that sounds right, I guess. So let's put this tin back together and put it in the background like so. And there we go. Let's get opening with the packs. Uh, starting with Fates Collide.
And I guess I'll start with the code. There you go. Pause and type that if you want it. Hopefully you can get something nice in the online game. And we'll just put a common down there. Uh, but we start off this pack with a Snivy. Meowth. Gothita. Jigglypuff. Deerling. Old Amber Aerodactyl. Scorched Earth. And Bryxen. Reverse. Is Meowth. That is a common I pulled a few times, I know. Not going to check the list on that one. Uh, but the rare. Bronzong. Non hollow rare. Pretty nice artwork, though. Like the little light explosion looking thing behind them. Uh, anyway, on to evolutions with Raichu. I don't know how well, it looks like the, the top of this uncommon is a little worn. Or like played condition wise, kind of damage. Uh, we got a Growlithe, Machop, Pikachu, Doduo, Caterpie. So Haunter is the one with the little damage looking thing. Uh, Revive and Misty's Determination. Reverse is a Sand True, that is a common. That is not one of the three I am now missing. If you did not see the Decidueye GX Premium Collection Box opening, uh, you should. Pretty good, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Uh, the rare. Machamp Hollow. Very good. So there's a hollow out of the four packs already. So at least average pulls out of this tin, if there's nothing else in the Sun and Moon packs. But I am, going to, I am obviously going to hope for something out of the Sun and Moon packs. This is... Be this has become one of my favorite sets. Uh, I pretty much have bought like two of every product that came with something good. <laughs> uh, and it has treated me pretty well. So I I've just really enjoyed this set. So we start off with a Cutie Fly, Dratini, Spiro, Psyduck, Eevee, Pinsir, Ultra Ball, and Bulldor. Reverse. Cutie Fly, that is a common. I know I have that one. Uh, the rare. Gigalith Hollow. Nice. Two for three with the hollows, at least. So, and I, this is probably one of my favorite hollows in the set. Like, I don't know why, but I love the artwork on this. Gigalith looks good. <laughs> anyway, on to the final pack of uh, of the tin and the final of the two Sun and Moon packs with Lunala on it. And I'll give you guys one more code for Sun and Moon. Pause and take that if you want it. Hopefully you get something nice. And we have a Makavita. Cutie Fly. Drowsy. Rowlet. Torkoal. Ilima, Spinda, and Araquanid. Reverse. Rotom Dex. That is an uncommon trainer. Only one I need is Timer Ball, so that is a duplicate. The rare. Hariyama. Non holo rare. So, all in all, not a bad 10 to say the least. Two hollows out of the 10, which were the Machamp Hollow out of Evolutions and the Gigalith Hollow out of Sun and Moon. Did we get... Uh, I, I noticed that there was Boulder and Gigalith, so I wanted to see if we got Rog and Rolla in that same pack. We didn't get them in the other one either. Rats, that would have been neat. Uh, we did get Makuhita and Hariyama together, though, so there's a line. <laughs> uh, but we also got this Rayquaza EX out of Roaring Sky, from Roaring Skies out of this tin, which, again, should be a new one for me. So big thumbs up for, for this tin from me. Uh, and again, I'm probably not going to pick up the Mewtwo one just because I don't need the EX. Uh, and honestly, I don't, the funny thing too was I, I wasn't intending to pick up any of these, but I just picked up the Dark Light one on a whim and found out after or as I was opening it, or after, I, I don't know, at some point after I bought it, I realized I needed the Dark Ride EX, so I was happy I got that. And then when I was checking to see if I might need the Rayquaza, I noticed that, yeah, I think I might need it. So I picked up this one, but probably not going to get the Mewtwo one, just going to say. Um, but I've said probably before and have 
done otherwise, so we'll just see uh, what eventually ends up happening. But that will do it for the video. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the opening. Uh, stay tuned for more. Have a great day.